Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of an Aussie Fummy in the Philippines. G'day all, how are ya? Well, it's Sunday and we got a viewer's request video again. I was going to make this last week, but I got too busy. Now, someone asked us, on the old videos we had my water supply system and my solar systems and everything else, and uh, the water backups and the backups and all that so we don't get any problems. Can you run that through us again? All right. I will. Okay, this is our this is our well down here. Okay, it's not a well, it's a bore. So it's dug down. How many meters is that dug down, hun? Three pipes, sixty feet. Three pipes of sixty feet. I know. Three pipes of twenty feet, so it's sixty feet. Oh, three pipes of twenty feet. So that's sixty feet. Well, we're going to have to edit that out, won't we? <laughs> I never do. Right, so it's sixty feet deep. Is uh, that one there? Now that comes out out of here it goes into the hand pump which is here so that's what most farms have is the hand pump okay right? that's it voila 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 ours now has a ute as a bend on the side here where it comes to the left and that goes down into the pump room okay and that's where the electric pump is that pumps it out into a tank the tank gets up to twin up to 40 psi and then it stops when it gets down to 20 psi it kicks in again so that's not too bad it's not too fucking good i suppose either but when they've done all the plumbing to my house here or chick's house here they used all half inch okay and they used the uh the weld the plastic white stuff weld and of course a half inch internal turned into one eighth so having a shower was like standing underneath a budgery guy having a piss there you go so every tap Every tap had a uh, on-off valve on it outside, on the ground. That's into the main bathroom, into the bar room, into the kitchen, and into the spare bathroom. So I cut the whole lot off and uh, turned it all into uh, three-quarter inch. Is that there? Right, what's it look like? Well, maybe a bit dark in here. Okay, so this is the pump, the water that we've seen outside. It comes along there into the pump here. The pump then goes through the filter system here. Okay, it's a lot of water because I just drained all this down. That's what, and I remember then, fuck, I haven't done that video on this, have I? So, the pump, go through the filter, and the filter into the tank. It has a pressure switch on the pump here. When it reaches 40 PSI, it will shut off. And when the pressure drops down to 20 PSI, it will kick back on again. So that's how it works. So I've got one-way valves all in here. So this feeds the house, it goes into the tank here, and it comes out of the tank here. Now this, now, it, where it gets fed into the house, Okay, so just forget about this black line at the moment. So it feeds into the house with an on and off valve. If there's a problem of uh, something breaks inside the house, I'll just shut this off and the water shut off. Same as going out to the street and turn it off at the street. Exactly the same. Right, so this is our water coming through. This is one inch. Now it comes along to here and I've got a T-piece. So it comes up here into the hot water tank, which is a gas hot water tank you can see here. And that comes back down and feeds the line of a hot water into the house on all the inlets. All the kitchens, bathrooms, everywhere like that. The cold water continues through here and goes down into the house, which is here. So you've got a hot and cold water. So that's how the standard system is on, on the house. That's a standard system. Now you see that most places in the Philippines, only um, most of them, 99% of them won't have a, a, uh, a filter system. And some of the water can be pretty freaking ugly. Okay, pretty freaking ugly. Right, so, so I haven't finished cleaning this out, guys. I just remembered this morning, I went, oh shit, I forgot to do that bloody video. Bastard. Right, so that sounds pretty simple, isn't it? So that's how you got water. If you have a power blackout, or a brownout here, a scheduled brownout, then, of course, your pump won't work. So all you relied on is what water and pressure you have in that tank at the time before the power went off and in the old days when there was not much rain around and uh, there's not much power for the turbines to work they used to shred the area of Mindanao so the, the right hand side of the island would have power for um, 12 hours and then they'll cut it off and give it to the southern side of the island you know and had it rotate so you could be out power for up to eight hours a day no problem you know in different areas they just shut the power off and so, right, we're really diverting all the power down to the south now, down there. So, you haven't got any water. So, what I did is I put in some rainwater tanks. So, I put in two rainwater tanks over here. They collect the water off the main big roof. They all run down into here. All right, so that's these two tanks here. 
Then they join under, together underground and they run underground here. I have nothing laying on top. I don't believe in that laying pipes on top of the ground. Bloody, they get damaged and broken and sun rotted. And they run all the way down here, around the back. Around the back of the maid's room. It comes down here and it comes into here. Joins onto this tank here, which you can see the line here. Joins onto that tank. Then it goes into the 12 volt, um, goes into the filter, which I don't have a filter in it because it's the wrong way around. Then it goes into the 12 volt pump. So that's a C-flow C pump, 12 volt, and that, my friends, 60 PSI, 60 PSI at 21 liters per minute. And that runs off of the battery, which you can see here. And the panel, and the solar panel is on the roof, way, way up there. So that's that's the uh, the 12 volt backup system. Now I use that all the time for for me uh, washing machine. So when I wash all the clothes, it's always done with the fresh rain water when we have it available. And at the moment we've got fucking shitloads. Right. So this is the battery here. This is the system. Okay. This is the pump C flow. I'll put a link down in the description on the sea flow, I tell you. Now, I had one dickhead contact me and he goes, Oh, that sea flow, they're shit, man. I've had two of them and they're fucking shit, man. Well, I've had one for over three years and I use it just about every day for the washing machine and never had a problem. So there you go. Whether the way he installed it, whether he just had attitude and it didn't want to work for him, I just don't know. You know? But this one here is over three years old, guys. Three years old. So anyway... This was for, I set this up for the rain, for the washing machine water. So that comes up here. Forget this line going out. So it comes up here. All the way across here, back into the pump room. What the hell happens in the pump room? Well, I'll show you. Oh, so, sorry, got to go back another step yet. So it comes all the way through the pump room. Then it comes down to here, joins onto this pipe. And this pipe leads it to the washing machine, which is here. Okay, this was the original house line here, which is turned off. This is the washing machine with tank water, which runs on that line through to there. Okay, and to show you what I'm talking about. Okay, washing machine, power on, yay, and start. There we go, that's filling now. Okay, that's filling. So that uses that. So we're quite happy with the world, chicken icing and kumbaya and fighting off all the trolls doing all our normal daily business around the farm. And I, we had a problem one day where the water went out for longer than I expected and I had no water for the pigs. And I said to myself, self, it's not fucking good. So what I did is I broke into the line of the laundry, which is here. I broke into that line and I run that down to the main pig line which is being fed from the house. So all I had to do was say, right, I'll put a valve in where I can turn off. Here we go. So I can turn off the water to the pig line from the house. I can turn that off and I can turn this one on. This is solar 12 volt and that will charge up the pig line. And then I have 60 PSI, 21 liters per minute. So I thought, right, I've got it all covered now. I've got the washing machine covered. Stage two was the pigs are covered. And then we run out of water in the house. And I went, fuck, we've got water to the pigs. We've got water to the washing machine. I need to put in another line. So what I did, guys, this is secret squirrel stuff, okay? So what I did for the third backup, the third backup is... Okay, so this is the line coming from the solar pump, runs down here to the washing machine. So what I did is I broke into it a third time up here and run that all the way down here to the main line, which is here. All right, so it can be run from the tank and feed the house, or I could turn the house supply off, turn on the 12 volt, and that will charge it to 60 PSI, 21 litres per minute. And that is the system that I have on the farm. So I'll turn that off. When we have a lot of water 
and we have a lot of sunny days, then I'll just run the whole house on solar. Why not? I've just saved a day's power on the pumps. You know, everything you save is worth a dollar, mate, I'll tell you now. So that is the system we have. Like I said, I'll show you how much pressure. I'll turn off the mains tank, the main tank here. We'll turn on the 12 volt. All right, and I'll show you on the tap here how much pressure we actually get. Okay, you ready? Here we go. Look at that. That's from the 12 volt over there. No problem whatsoever. Shuts off. So simple. So when when you put your system in, guys, I'll, I don't say do what William's done because William's a fucking professional. Well, William's not a fucking professional, but he's not an idiot, as some people tried to make out to be. Is put your main system in, but look at a backup system. All right, like Texas Filipino. He's the, he's the same type of thing. All right. No, I didn't copy me from him. He didn't copy him from me. We just both got fucking brains, us guys. And Texas Filipino is the same. Is he put a backup system in, which he may do a video and show you in the next couple of days. I don't know. But there is a complete different backup system. So if you run out of electricity for your house, well, that's no problem. I still got water. You know, I can still turn on the solar and the batteries will still run all night long and I don't have a problem. I've got a gas hot water tank which is here, all right, I have a gas bottle, so I can have a, a nice hot shower any time I want, even if there's no fucking electricity. Well, I'm not relying on electricity to heat the hot water, because I've got gas. Not relying on electricity for the pump, because I've got solar backup. All right, so that's how easy it is. So some days, like I said, I can and could have kept the line from the pig pen feed into here, and just kept this valve open to the tank and I could have charged the whole house. But the trouble is I'm going in the back door. So that's why I put a separate line in from the washing machine and broke into it up here, as you can see. Okay, so it's broken in up here and that feeds this one here. So I'll turn him off now, click, and turn on the mains for the house. That's how simple it is. And yes, I did it all myself. Yes, I don't have workers to do it all for me. I do it all myself. And for those curious, yes, that is my generator there. Yes, that is for the backup power. I have all the instructions written here for Chick for when I went to Vietnam working. So all the instructions are here. Tell them to turn off this, turn on that, turn off this, turn on that. There's your choke. Pull all this, pull the lever, and you have power. Shut down, reverse. And that's how it all works through here, guys. So with this running, I can run the air cons because we've all got inverters on them. So I still run the lounge room air conditioning. I still run all the lights in the house. I can still run all the security system. And the other thing is I have to turn off the fridge and the freezer because they're not inverters and they chew up the power like you wouldn't believe. You just feel the generator going. Ugh. So you just unplug the freezer. You just don't open the bastard. Like, what do you want out the freezer anyway? You know, like FMD, eh? FMD. But apart from that, yeah, the generator runs the whole house, the internet system and all that. Now, with the internet system as well, if we run out of power, we have a backup system. Yes, William has backups on backups, okay? So if we run out of power, okay, we can still have internet. Why? Well, I'll show you. Right. Right, inside this little room here, okay, this is all set up with emergency lighting. Okay, so we have a battery here connected to the solar panel. We've got the inverter here, 12 volt to 240 volt. Is this one here? Is this one here? And I have a separate line on the back here which will plug into this to supply 12 volt power to this, turn it into 240 volt or 220 volt, and that then will feed a separate power point system that I had put in the house. So with that, I've run the leads all the way up through here and they're in a separate box on the top here with the black wire. So that black wire up here is what's running the 12 volt converted to 220 volt, right? Is that one up there? When there's a power blackout, I just unplug the internet modem and the power from the tower, and I just plug it straight up into there and plug it in and away it works. That's how simple it is. So I'm running off of the 12 volt batteries and both 12 volt batteries are connected together. 
Okay, no, it's not two 12s, mate, 24 volts. They're just two 12s connected together. With that, I've also put a brake from here across to here, which runs down through here. And there's a power point here with the black one. And that actually runs the computers. So the computers can have power. I can use that for recharging the phones, whatever I want to do, because that all runs under that. Now, all that's fixed. It's all in place. It's no way for a storm to come and then, oh, well, fuck my dog, what am I going to do? You know, I'll wait till it goes over and see. Well, everything is fixed and it's all in place. All the wiring is in place, done. <coughs> so, I hope that answers your questions on um, what type of water supply do I have on the house. And I've added the uh, backup for the power as well at the same time. Could make a separate video and make separate monies out of it, you know. Give, give the trolls something to talk about, but I just don't want to. So I hope that settles your curiosity. If you've got a house, guys, or you're thinking of building a house, just think of backup systems. Think of the water, if you run out of water. Okay, what can you do? Put in a 12-volt system. Put in a um, 60 PSI, 21 litres per minute. That's I'll tell you, that's huge water, man. I'll tell you, huge water. And look at your electricity as well, backup. What are you going to do? Well, I can have batteries, because you're going to have batteries for your solar, aren't you? You're going to have solar panels for your solar. So why not have a secondary in where you can connect the, um, the converter to 220 volt and have that all hooked up, all ready to go, because you're only using one system at a time, aren't you? You know? Now, with that, adding to that, where's my... Fongs, my wait. What a big dog! So adding to that, because I had a 12 volt system, I also wanted to add a 12 volt light outside. So what I did was into the same system. I've run a wire through, and you'll see that over here. That's it running there. So that's the um, it's the only wires I've got that are unburied in the house these ones here to the the power is actually all underground from the maid's room that's all underground the power the water and everything it's just a um, security camera in this 12 volt so this is the 12 volt lights okay which is up here there we go on off so what i did have before i rebuilt the new chicken house i had this 12 volt light up here and I've also got more of the 12 volt lights. This is one from the chicken pen here. Okay, they're just the 12 volt motorboat lights. You buy them for about 150 peso. Now I had them, one in the, the, the inside, one on the outside, and one in the turkeys, and one of the goats. So if there was a need, I could just, all I had to do was turn on the 12 volt. Now I said it was all hardwired, right? There's a light switch here. Turn it on, voila. And that gave me lighting. So it was good when chick would come out here and there'd be no power would go off. And you just turn, turn the button and everything lit up. And when she walks past it, she just turns it back off again. So think of all the backups. Don't do cheap little, I'll oh, run a wire over the grass cable and put it over the back of a tree and fucking tie it on with a bit of um, fencing wire. Think about the project and do it properly. Trust me, okay? Guys, thank you very much for watching. Thoroughly enjoyed itself this morning. That's the water system and the electrical system I've got and the backups that you have. It's there, use it. Use your brain. Here for thinking, down there for dancing. Okay? FMD and here's one for your budgie. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.